Hey guys, I'm Sarah, and welcome back. Um, we're going to be talking about Revelations 3. I do advise that you read it for yourself, and you understand that you're reading it, and even if that's pausing the video and reading it, or finishing the video and, you know, reading it afterwards. Um, this is really talking about how we need to repent, because Jesus is coming soon, and if we repent now... We don't have to worry when it comes to Judgment Day and, you know, he's like, I never knew you. For lukewarm, for lukewarm Christians, that's kind of hard because y'all are dabbing in two different parts, you know? You're on the world side and then you're on Jesus' side, but these things don't mix. So God will spit you out, you know? He will rebuke you. As much as he loves you, he will rebuke you. And, you know, I ask that you take it seriously, you know? You don't just do it, but you learn from it, and you try to do what's right, you know? Read your Bible, form a relationship with him, you know? For people that aren't even Christians, you know? I ask that you find it in your heart that you just get to know him, you know? And you let him in, because I don't want to see you dying, you know? I don't want to see you be thrown in the lake. I don't want to see you go to hell. I want you to be in heaven with me, and we are having a great time together. You know, we're having fun. You know, we're living our best life. You know, because as much as we're going to die on earth, we might not, some of us might not, but I want us to die peacefully, knowing that we're going to be with our Father in heaven. We're going to have such a great time to where it didn't even matter what happened on earth, but it matters what's going to go on in heaven. We're going to have the best time ever, you know? And it's just telling us repent because God knows everything. He knows what you've done before in the past. He knows what you did in the present. He knows what you're doing right now, you know? And he loves you. Honestly, truly, deeply, he loves you so much. And as much as he wants you to be with him, if you don't open yourself up, if you don't, how do I say this? If you don't let him come into your life, there's never going to be a relationship. So there's no way that he's going to let you into heaven. He's going to be like, I never knew you. So if, he never knew us how we're supposed to be where he is, you know? It's like a stranger coming to your door and knocking, your, knocking on and saying, I'm a good person, let me in. You know, just because he's a good person, do you let that person into your house? Of course not. He's a stranger. Just like we. We say, oh, I'm a good person. I'm obviously going to go to heaven. But have you lied? Have you stealed? Have you cheated? Have you... Have you lusted? Like... Because we can say, oh, we're a good person, but if we get judged by the Ten Commandments, most of us are never going to even make it into heaven. And I mean, not even most, all of us. Unless you're a baby and you can't really talk, you can't really do anything. But <laughs> How are you going to get into heaven? Honestly and genuinely, you can say you're a good person, but that's not going to get you anywhere. You have to give your life to Jesus. You have to. That's the only way. And you have to live for him. As much as it's hard. I know it's hard. I've been going through it for the past I don't know how long. You know, and it's hard. Me trying to make friends. Me trying to, you know, because I can hear all these things the world says about me. And you know it sucks. It really does hurt sometimes. But honestly, you need to know. That you're living on this earth for a purpose you have a purpose god loves you so much and as much as it hurts you'll get through it and you have something better waiting for you at the end and that's what i want to say to anybody you know just everybody because i've been through it and i'm still going through it and so i hope that y'all understand that the only way you can get into heaven the only way that you can have eternal life is through jesus you know, I, I remember this one verse that I always remember. My mom always starts it and then I end it. And it's like, 
no one comes to the Father except through Christ, you know? She says the other part, I always re remember the last part, so that might be on my side, so sorry if I didn't say the whole thing, but God's the only way through Christ. Christ Jesus is the only way to God, like, because no one can have life except through Christ, because Christ will be there saying, oh, I knew you, you know? You were that girl that helped this lady out. Yeah, you were called and people were so mean to you, but you still stood by my side. I knew you. And he'll tell his father that and the angels by them. And they're like, okay, you're going to heaven. Good and faithful servant. Let's go. You know? So I hope that y'all understand that as much as I love you and as much as sometimes I don't even like talking about some certain things, you know? God loves you. Repent, please. Because I want to see y'all in heaven with me and my friends. And, you know, we're having a good old time. So, as always, guys, I love y'all. Jesus, lo Jesus loves you. God loves you, you know. And I hope y'all have a great rest of your day or a great start to your day.